This is the day that the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hello and happy Friday. God bless you. I'm Pastor A.D., Pastor of True Vine, NBC here in Houston, Texas. And I thank you so much for joining us for our pastoral moment. This is the time I get to encourage you and enlighten you with the word of God. And today, church, I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel. If you're not subscribed to this channel, subscribe today, please. And for those who are subscribed to this channel, thank you so much for all your support. We love you. We love you. We love you. So today I want to talk about coming to Christ as you are. Come to Christ as you are. It's time for you to come to Christ. If you don't know Christ, it's time to come to Christ. And I want to talk about that. I want to really dig into that topic in detail about coming to Christ. Come as you are to Christ. And so let's look at Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, which is red, uh, deep red, they shall be as white as snow. Did you get that? Though your sins are like scarlet, dark red, like blood red, they shall be as white as snow. So bottom line, if you come to Christ, if you come to the Lord and submit to the Lord and receive the Lord in your heart and confess with your mouth that he is, then your sins will be wiped away, wiped away. So you will become purified, white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. Though they are red, because we're going to continue in sin. We have sin, okay? We will sin. We will we will sin. However, in God's eyes, we are seen as righteous, as perfect, as holy in his sight. Because we have Christ in our life. That doesn't mean you have a ticket or a free license to sin. Paul says, shall we continue in sin so that grace may abide? He says, certainly not. Certainly, we shall not do that. So it's about doing your best doing your best to please Christ and not your flesh. Then we have Isaiah 55, one through three. Come all you who are thirsty, come to the waters and you have no money. Come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money, without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread in your labor on what does not satisfy? Listen, listen to me and eat what is good and you will delight in the riches of fair. Give an ear and come to me. Listen, that you may live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you. My faithful love promised to David. So God, this is, so So God is talking. God is talking about, he's wanting, he's wanting his people to still come to him. Even the Hebrew people, the children of Israel, he wanted them to come at this time, at that time. And also he want you to come to him on today. He's looking for people that name is written in the Lamb's book of life before the foundations of this world for those to come to him. He's still waiting on you. Those who are out in the world, he's still waiting on you. He's saying, come, come, listen to me. Hear, hear this word that, that Pastor A.D. is preaching. Hear this word that other pastors are speaking and ministers are speaking to you. Hear this word that other believers are ministering to you and you hear the testimonies on and on. You hear these things, but listen and, and have an ear and come to me because God has a covenant and he wants you in this covenant of the church, please, because he promised David. And so he wants you in this covenant. Please come to Christ while you still have a chance. Then we have Matthew 11, 27 through 30. All things have been committed to me by my father. No one knows the son except the father and no one knows the father except the son and those to whom the son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you give you rest. Or those who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest, okay? So that's the thing. All this, all this things, you're trying to carry so much weight in life, right? You're trying to carry this huge backpack filled with bricks. You're trying to carry this load, this huge load, but you got to learn to let that go. You got to learn to give it to Christ. Come to Christ. Surrender to Christ. Surrender your life to Christ and give it all to Christ. And I'm telling you, you will have a shoulder, a true, a true shoulder, a soldier, shoulder, I'm sorry, to rely on, a true shoulder to rely on, a, someone you can depend on totally, someone you can really call on in the middle of the night and early in the morning and afternoon, no matter what time, you will have Christ that you can call on. If you come to him, you surrender him. I'm telling you, 
He is. He is your father. He is your mother. He will be your sister. He will be your brother. He's your best friend. I'm telling you, he will do all these things. He will be all these things to you in life if you surrender and come to him. And then also it says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am for my for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light so right there i mean he's gentle he's humble in heart and, he, and you will find rest in him you will find rest your soul one day will find rest total rest in him and it's gonna be beautiful but you must surrender you must surrender take that yoke upon upon you and, and learn from me so learn from christ and learn for who he is and try to be more like Christ for my yoke is easy, my burdens are light. So you got to learn to surrender, surrender to Christ and give your life to Christ. I'm telling you, you will not be sorry if you do so, if you surrender your life to Christ today. John chapter six, verses 63 through 65. The spirit gives life. The flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you, they are full of the spirit and life. Yet there are some of you who do not believe. Hmm. For Jesus had known from the beginning which I, which of them did not believe and who would be betray him, right? He knew that from the beginning. He went on to say, this is why I told you that no one can come to me unless the Father has enabled them. Okay, so in order to get to Christ, in order to get to him, he's the way, he's the truth, he's the life. No one comes to my Father except by me, by Christ. That's the only way. By Christ, that's the only way we get to the Father. So through Christ and by Christ. So you can't get to the Father, God. You cannot get to heaven by believing in Buddha. You cannot get to heaven by, by believing in Muhammad and Allah. You can't do that. No. The only way you get to heaven is through Jesus Christ. That's the only way. So please surrender today. That way you go to heaven. To heaven, you have an everlasting life. You have everlasting life. And it will be a joyful time every single day, a perfect life. And I'm telling you to surrender today to Christ. Give your life over to God. Give it over. Surrender today. Surrender your sins. Surrender your flesh. Surrender who you are. Surrender your mess. Sur sur surrender your selfishness. Surrender yourself. Surrender the drugs. Surrender the addiction that you may have. Surrender that today and give your life to Christ. Then we have James chapter 4, verses 6 through 8. But he gives us more grace. That is why scripture says, God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Submit yourselves. There it is. There it is. Let me say that again. Verse seven, submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Eight verse says, come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. So there it is, man. God is calling you in the book of James. I love the book of James. The book of James, <laughs> he brings that conviction. He brings that conviction. I mean, straightforward conviction to your soul. Your inner man can feel it. And he brings that conviction. But he gives you, he gives us more grace. That's what, that's, that's the, and so that is one of the, of the best gifts you can have is grace. One of the, I mean, grace, God gives us grace. That is why scripture says God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the few. So it's good to be humble. It's not good to be arrogant and prideful and stuck up. And then it says, submit yourselves. So submit yourselves, like I've been telling you, and I'm going to continue to reiterate re re this, that you submit yourself then to God. Re submit, give it over to God. Let it go. Let it go and let God resist the devil. Okay, resist the devil. You got to learn to resist. Stand against the devil. Resist that thing. Resist that temptation. Resist what you've been doing that's not of God. Resist those things and he will free, He will what? Flee from you. He'll go away from you. The enemy will go away from you. And then a verse, come near to God and he will come near to you. So whenever you begin to make your way towards God, direct your path towards God, he will come towards you. He will come towards you because he see that your mind has changed. Your mentality has changed towards Christ. And so now he's going to come towards you. It has changed towards um, um, the, the enemy and, and things that's going on in your life. It has changed. Whatever your mindset is, whatever you have your mind focused on day to day. See, a lot of us want to do what we want to do throughout the day. We want to do every day is what we want to do. It's all about us. It's all about what we can get. It's all about that. No, it's all about Christ. So 
if you set your mind towards Christ and, and walk and press towards the prize, then hey, he will come near to you and wash your hands, you sinners, purify your heart. So you got to come out of that. You got to come out. Your heart has to change. Your mindset has to change. Everything has to change. You, you got to wash your hands from the dirtiness, from the filth, from whatever you've been dipping in, from whatever you've been going in, the sin problem, the sin issue, the lifestyle that you're living, the things you're going through. Not saying you're going to be made perfect. You're not going to be perfect. However, you're going to be more like Christ. He's going to see you as perfect, though you know you're really not, but you're not in that lifestyle anymore. You're not doing that sin anymore, right? And you sinners and purify your hearts, you double-minded, because a lot of us, even in the church today, are double-minded. We double-minded, double-minded people. So one minute we want to serve Christ, one minute we don't want to serve Christ. We, we want to be in the world. We want to fit with the culture. We want to do what the culture is doing. And, and and just fit in with the crowd, with the world, do worldly things, sinful things. However, it's time to come to Christ. Come as you are. Come as you are. Come as you are. No matter how you look, no matter who you are, no matter what sinful lifestyle that you're in, it's time to come to Christ. It's time to come to Christ. Do not wait too late. It's time to come to Christ. And so that's what Christ is. Christ is waiting on you to come to him. And we don't know when our last second is going to be. We don't know what our last minute is going to be on this earth. So it's time to come to Christ, surrender to Christ. And I'll tell you, I'm going to say this again. From your heart, you got to have it in your heart. You got to have Christ in your heart. You have him in your heart. And then you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and your Savior. You receive him as your Lord and Savior, that he's died for your sins. And he rose on the third day. We serve a living God. We serve a living Christ and a living Savior. We serve him. And also that you have eternal life. So you confess those things that your sin is no more. You're no more doing this. You turn from your wicked ways and then you walk towards Christ. So turn from that mess and walk towards the prize who is Christ Jesus. God bless you and I pray that you come to Christ today. I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying, but God bless you. May you have a blessed weekend. Tune in Sunday for the word of God. And until next time, until next time, please come as you are to Christ. We love you at True Vine. We thank you. We praying for you. You want to know why? Because we're True Vine and we are the church of love. God bless. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and join our online Christian family. Tithes, offerings, and donations can be made via Cash App at dollar sign TVMBC or by mail at True Vine Missionary Baptist Church, 1407 Grove Street, Houston, Texas, 77020. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.